Boxing on Channel 5. Defending his name, his legacy, Harlem Eubank. Battling his way up the super lightweight rankings. Can he remain undefeated? Big Fight Live, Eubank versus Uruskieta, Friday at 10 on Channel 5. Razorband IFL TV proudly sponsored by Everlast with me, Spencer, Oliver Spencer. Everyone assumed that David Light being so quiet this week, didn't engage too much this week, that Lawrence would get him out four to six. That was kind of what everyone was saying this week. Surprised he went 12 rounds? Yeah, I am surprised to be fair. I was one of those people that thought the fight would be over in four rounds. Looked at, um, you know, looked at David Light in the week, hadn't seen him box before. I know he come with good credentials or, or good records, like 20 and 0 with 12 KOs, but no real names on his record. And um, yeah, when I had a look at him on YouTube, I thought, stylistically, he's made for Lawrence. You know, comes in straight lines, and yeah, we don't know how tough he is, but you know, it's made for him. And um, you could see that Lawrence had been out of the ring for just over a year. That, that definitely played a part in that. After speaking to him after the fight as well, he, he admitted that he felt a little rusty, timing was a little bit out, and it took him a while to sort of get any sort of rhythm going. So, um, a little bit of a frustrating night for him, but on the flip side, he's back in action. You know, he's got that ring rust off, and we can look forward to these. You know, big unification bouts, or, or you know, I think we we might see um, Lawrence Acoli in next with someone like Richard Riakpor. I believe that fight happens, and that could happen next. We saw the, you know, the little bit of beef they had, you know, a little bit of back and forth at the Creed Free Premier, and I think that's a fight that would sort of like, yeah, get get them. Get the British public interested. I think that's the fight that we need to see. You know, Billum Smith, I think, is fighting for a world title, hopefully, um, hopefully uh, in October. I'm oh, sorry, October, May, May 25th. So it'd be good if them two got it on for a world title. I'd like to see that. A few boos, a few of the fans were booing. Um, can you understand the frustration? Yeah, of course. It was one of those fights that never caught a light. You know, David Light was pushing forward, but. You know, just it, a little bit one-dimensional, and Lawrence was as well, to be fair. He was just pouring with a jab. He was looking for that big right hand, but never, there was no real, um, he wasn't using his imagination at all, you know, like he was, he needed to change things up a little bit, but he was doing the same thing. So yeah, it was a, it was a frustrating night all round, really. Frustrating for React Bar and also for the crowd watching. You mean Akoli, not React Ball? Oh, sorry, Akoli, sorry. My head's gone, mate. Do you know what? I was just watching a fight and um, someone just got knocked down and just knocked my head out a little bit. I just, sorry. I just spoke to Sugar Hill and he said, I need more time with Lawrence. He needs more time with me. When, and eventually you will see the goods. Absolutely, I agree with that. You know, that you've got to remember they've only been together since January. I think January the 10th was when they first teamed up. They haven't had a lot of time to, you know, put things right, uh, put, the, put the things that Sugar wants to implement into his style. I don't think that we see that yet, you know. You saw, like, like I say, like Lawrence was, you can see he was trying things out, but they hadn't just clicked yet. You know, so um, be interested to see how it goes over the next four or five months. But um, yeah, I think Sugar told me that as well. He said, look, we just, hopefully we see it on a night, but we didn't see it tonight. You know, he said, it's just one of those things. And we'll go back to the gym, we'll work on the various other stuff. I know they was working on his foot movement and also punch variety and stuff, but we didn't really see that tonight. Just away from Lawrence Acoli, uh, we saw Kel Brook here looking well, uh, smiling um, yeah. with Liam Smith. Uh, Liam's obviously getting frustrated that Eubank Jr. fight isn't signed yet. Would you like to see Brooke Liam Smith? Absolutely, why not? You know, I think there's a fight that they... I don't know if you saw them both sitting there chatting together. I asked Kel about it. I said, what's going on, mate? Are you having a little chat there, like, maybe about having a little move around together? He said, yeah, why not? Why not? You know, if you know, we don't get the fights that we want. You know, Kel said, if I don't get the Conor Ben fight, you know, and he doesn't, he doesn't, you know, get the Eubank fight, he said, why not? We're both around. We, you know, it's there. It's, there. it's a great fight. We can earn good money, and it sort of makes sense. So, watch your space, I suppose. You know, they were both. Um, they both had a, a very good chat. That's for sure. Spence, as always, I appreciate a few minutes of time. Appreciate the time you've given us this week, and yeah, hopefully we'll see you Poland or Birmingham. Absolutely, mate. We're, well, po Poland and Birmingham. Yeah. Spence Oliver I for TV. Thank you very much. 17, 16, 17. Win it, they get Right, the bouncer's killed him. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 